Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Sky here, bringing you another episode of Skyden Survival Map. So we're once again over here on the Skyden platform here, and there's Fritz, our best friend, our um, sheep skeleton, doing his loitering in front of the Skyden as usual. There we go. So let's head on inside, and before we start off with our quest from the Null Boss, we have to make a we have to make a little apology to Pip here. He's a friendly, you know, I was a little bit concerned when he when he lunged at me with the stick. But we've made amends, and we're now just best of friends now. He, you know, here he is. Look at him. We're best friends now. See? I wish I was as big as you. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, look, he's already a friendly guy. And um, I'm bored. Yeah, he's pretty bored, too. Careful, you don't want to fall. That's, you know, he's giving me great advice now. And uh, tell me a story. Okay, I'll tell you a story. There once was a cat. Her name was Jelly. She was my cat. She meowed just one too many times while recording videos. So I sent her to the Kerbal Nut Space Program to launch her into space. Yeah, there's my story. All right, so let's get this episode underway here. And here's the Null Boss and his butter candles, you know, burning away. So let's see here. Null Boss, first thing is first before you can accept. Oh my god, my brake just came off my wheelchair. I just started wheeling away. Okay. Already starting off in a really good way. Misread it, and then my, I started to wheel away from the computer. Okay, we're starting over. No boss. First things first, before you can accept you as part of our family, here in the sky, then you must prove yourself, as we all have. Bloody your hands in battle against the monsters drawn to this realm, and I will complete your initiation. Oh, nice. All right, so how do we do this? Are we good? I believe you have yet to work to do. Well, oh, oh, quest. All right. First right, um, Rotten Flesh, zero, 04. Okay, so we need to gather some supplies here for our quest. The Noble Boss of the Sky Den has asked you to prove my mint and battle a number of monsters. All right, good. Wait, wait, I should read that whole thing first, because sometimes I forget to read everything. Uh, monsters are drawn through the darkness. I may have to construct, oh, construct a field, tower, or some other sort of arena. That will serve as a spawning ground for them. Mm, that's a good thing I read this. Usually I, I skip half of it. I should focus on hunting zombies, creepers, and skeletons. So we need to build something. I like to build. That's awesome. All right. Well, Pip, I'll see you later, my new best friend. And let's uh, commence on our uh, building excursion here. So we need to build something. Yay. Well, see you later, Fritz. And let's see here. So let's head back to our residency out here so let's just run out here and figure out what we want to build so we need to build something and that is a spawn area so we could build a field a building of sorts a tower hmm so many possibilities so many possibilities hmm so let's run over here and check our cobblestone generator because i believe that's going to be very important in this. So I increased the time a little bit. I got it down to here. So just kind of playing with it. it. Might be a little fast. I'm not sure what happens if you go too fast that the whole thing just blows up, but I don't know. That would actually be kind of cool. All right, so let's grab some of this. As you can see, this thing is incredibly awesome. Look at all the stuff it gives you. Look at all that. All right, there we go. So we got that. And let's see here. So where do we want to build our little uh, kind of spawn building? So here's our platform. Of course, this is where we're going to build our house or some type of shelter, maybe a tower, maybe even a giant tree, who knows, here, because we do have a lot of wood. And yeah, so we got this here, but from there we need to build, you know, tree farms, farms, and stuff. So looking out here, it looks like maybe we could do a bridge out there, remove the poor man's sky den, which is the little dirt hut there, and then kind of go out, you know, build more bridges outwards where we could do other, you know, islands and things of that nature. So I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. So let's start to get rid of some of these things here. Get rid of this. There. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. All right. So let's start to build a bridge. So let's make sure we keep everything nice and symmetrical. So we'll stay on this plane here. There we go. And start to build outwards. There we go. Good. No, good. I think we got a good start now. I was kind of worried at first when I started to wheel away from the computer, but I think we're good. I think we're good. And it's nice that Pip and I are best of friends now. We got off on the wrong foot, you know. You know, I came with the Sky Den for the first time, and he lunged at me with a stick. And I was concerned for my safety, and so was he. You know, I was a new guy. You know, there's a lot of monsters up here in the uh, endless realm of the sky. So I, I feel for him. I understand. I fully understand his concerns. But we're now best friends. All right, so we'll just get up here. 
build up our little bridge along here, and then we'll remove the poor man's sky den, get that thing out of here. And yeah, I think it'll be good. So we'll start to actually have a pretty decent um, little setup over here. So we need to grab some more wood over here. So let's get over here, collect some of that, get that going here. There we go, get a little bit more there, okay. Six more, and let's actually build a little bit. Let's actually get a, quite a few of these because we'll probably need them a little bit farther down the road. There we go. Okay, good. And while we're over here, let's just grab some of these out. We'll probably, we're definitely going to probably need quite a few. So we'll definitely get some of this going here. Get that up in there. There we go. We'll probably need quite a few of these blocks as we move, as we progress along. There we go. I don't sort these blocks very well without the new sorting engine or whatever it is that makes it so easy to construct things in 1.6. Actually, I guess that was added in 1.5. All right, there we go. Let's continue along, making our way across, making a super awesome bridge. And for the, the dirt, I believe it's okay if we lose a few pieces here or there, because I asked, uh, or actually I think I asked in the last episode, or somebody might have mentioned in the comments, it might have been a super awesome subscriber who mentioned that if you lose dirt, it's okay because you can, you know, buy dirt from some of the other NPCs in the Skyden. So if we lose a little bit, not going to be the end of the world. Not going to be the end of the world at all. All right, so let's see here. We need to start to deconstruct this. And I believe we have some mob friends in here. Oh, oh yeah, full house. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Your little house is, is being destroyed. I know you put in a lot of work into it. Get your dirt, you got a few pieces of stone. I see, I feel ya. Oh, oh, oh! Sneak, sneak attack! Sneak attack, camping, he had ghost on. I knew he had ghost on. He had all of them. He had cold-blooded from Call of Duty 4. He had, what was it, um... Was it still cold-blooded in Modern Warfare 2? And then it was ghost, and then it was assassin? And now it's ghost again. There we go. He had it all on. He had every single one. He had them all on. All right, so we need to knock, start knocking this out. All right, welcome back. There we go. We got the poor man's sky den all taken apart. Got our cobblestone jenner just taken away right there, all very nice. And I did add the other chest between episodes too, so I got a little extra capacity going. All right, so from here, I think we're just gonna do a two a two wide bridge. And I realized something as I was removing the poor man's sky den that I don't think. We really have to build this too much, but we're going to build it anyway. We could probably just pull the uh, rotten flesh and the bones and the gunpowder out of our box as I was putting some away from the mobs that I killed inside it. And I was thinking, you know, we probably could just use this, but what's the fun in that? Let's build something cool and impress the null boss. Maybe he'll give us extra points. He'll give us an, an, a better grade. He'll give us a, an extra point. So we'll, 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 we'll build. It'll, it'll look good. And, and it'll be useful in the future. It'll be useful in the future. All right, so I think that's probably far enough away from the rest of the area for it. Yeah, let's just bring it out maybe an extra click. How about two clicks? There we go. Okay, so that's far enough, I think, away from the uh, two other platforms to start construction here. Okay, so I think we have enough of this for now. So we'll just get as much out as we can in our hot bar. There we go. Okay. So let's just start construction here, and let's see. I'm trying to decide how far I want to go out. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna leave this guy like that, and from here I'm gonna go up and go maybe like five out. So two, three, four, five from there. Let's go out a little bit farther. So it's five, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll make this thing pretty big. We'll make it big. Make it look nice. All right. So it's ten wide. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay, that looks nice. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's count. <laughs> that's probably wide enough. Yeah, that's probably good. Then we'll just come around again. All right, there we go. I think I'm actually going to make it just a little bit wider right here. So if we want to make maybe like a little design around it or something, maybe a walkway where we could walk around it. If we had some reason to, you know, to kind of like poke in a hole there or there to look inside or something, we might have an extra little walkway. 
So maybe we'll just make this across here. I think that would look good. I have a couple little design ideas we might be able to do for this. And I'm trying to think here. I haven't seen an Enderman spawn here yet. So do we need to make it tall enough for them to come in? Not sure, not sure about that. So we'll just make this go across here and then we'll start to build the interior. I guess for the interior, we don't really need to do anything special really at this time. I think it'll just be, um, just so you know, you're just your flat um, bottom, you know, no special uh, mob killing features or, you know, waterfalls, just a basic uh, floor for now. We'll probably get to something a little bit more complicated in the uh, future. But I think for now, that's probably good. So I think, hmm, I think from here, I'll have this nice two-way platform and then I'll be able to go up like that. And then everything in there is the interior. I think that'll be good. So let me create the floor and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So now we got our platform. So let's see here. So what do we want to do from here? I think we want to build up maybe the, um, let's see. So hmm, I'm trying to make the doorway kind of be like that, I think. And then from here, probably two, three, four. Let's make sure we bring up that a little. Oh, are we too high? Yep. So two, three, four, five. That's probably good on a height. I think that's probably fine. And we'll bring this across here and then we'll just start to bring this around. There we go. We have kind of a nice little thing. The cobblestone generator being automatic is such an awesome thing. This would have taken forever. Absolutely forever on the like the old Skyblock maps. I actually had a pretty nice little setup on Skyblock. I wish I could have finished that series. I had a nice little tree farm, had a little house, but never got to finish it. It's a shame. It's a shame. All right, just about across here. And yeah, there we go. Got that complete. And yeah, so we're almost across here and then we'll build up the walls. Kind of make it just a little, just a few decorative decorative touches to the sides just to make it look a little bit nice so it's not just a big box in the sky because we, we don't want that we don't we, we don't want that at all so put that there let's put that across here get that all in there i think that'll look nice we could always probably knock these pillars out it might also make a nice design take out exactly what we're building and let's just get these sides up here get the walls all fashioned up Go. get them all across here get these mobs spawning in here finish that challenge hopefully it pleased the null boss let him be let us uh, become one of the sky den crew there we go now I was wondering is there so across here definitely is a portal so I remember I was like I think that's a portal over there and it does definitely looks like one or definitely is one. It looked like one from a distance back in when we first started. But is there quests within the nether? Like, are there other NPCs in there? I was kind of wondering if there was. There we go. It doesn't look like there's any other islands kind of outside this vicinity. You know, there's that one, the Sky Den. And there's that little tiny one out there, that which I thought was the cobblestone generator. Uh, is there any other islands that you guys know of around? Because I don't... I think there's any out in the distance at least that I can see because I don't really want to read too much about the map I kind of like to experience it you know as I kind of go along or with help from you guys there we go I like things you know kind of be a surprise you know things just jump at you and you're like oh all right finish that up oh oh oh, oh man we're we're failing on the block placements we're, fa we're failing we're failing fast we're failing fast title of the video Scar fails at block placements. <laughs> he just gets too carried away. Just get too carried away. There we go. Just about across. And we've got our walls all set up and looking good. All right. So let's maybe make a little en nicer entrance here. Kind of make that come across there. And let's actually build a crafting bench. There we go. In case we need that, and let's grab a few more stackaroos of cobble. Oh wow, look at this thing. This thing is chugging away like a boss. I just had this really bad feeling this thing is going to blow up on me. You know, it's just too good to be true. It's too good to be true. The thing is just going to explode and take me out with it. Okay, so let's actually build up a few more of these guys up in here. And I would, I'm so used to the way 1.6 works. Okay, there we go. 
And let's see, what else do we need? Do we maybe maybe a few stairs? I don't know if we'll need them, but we'll just get up a few of those built just in case we need those. And yeah, so let's see here. Let's see here. Um, let's actually make it go up like that. Okay. Hmm. Try to think if there's any other kind of cool design we could do on the outside. We could probably we could run maybe a piece like that up there. That looks kind of cool actually. If we run this kind of along here. Oh, oh! I told you we're gonna name this video "Scar Fails at Blake Pl Block Placements." There we go. So let's kind of get a little look, look, see, and see how that's looking. Oh, that looks nice. I think we could add even a little bit more detail here and there. And yeah, so let me finish up part of the roof, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Just about finished up the roof here. So just a couple more blocks, and we've got it. We've almost got this all built up. I did have to put some lights in down there because the moths were starting to spawn in there. And we're going to probably have to do something about the top here because they'll probably be up here too. And it looks like, of course, we are three blocks short. It's probably easier just to build a crafting table up here than go back down there and get all of it up in there. So let's just grab out our set of room there. Get just a few extras. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. Perfect. That'll be our mobile crafting bench. There we go. There's a few more up there. And let's see, get out our lights. Wait, I don't think these are going to go on. Hmm. I guess we're going to put them up on the sides here. That probably should be adequate. That probably should be. Put that right there. I got that one. And put one right there. I don't know. We'll put those up there for now. Because I just don't want them all spawning up there and getting up in my business falling on me. Alright, so let's head on down and take a look at what we got so far. Okay, last piece to go. Jump out just a little bit farther. And yeah, oh, I like that. I like that. It looks nice. It's got just a little bit of style to it. Nothing too fancy, just a little bit of nice style. Let's actually knock these beams out right there. And yeah, I think that looks nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, so for now, I think, hmm, there's a little bit of light leakage in here. That might cause a problem later on. So let's see. How do we want to address that? That might be a problem. So I'm going to have to cover that up. I think that's going to be... What in the world? This block's just disappeared off. Oh, another one. Oh. Whoa, this place is haunted. Look at that. Look at that. It will not stick. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, I'm actually going to cover this entire ceiling up with solid blocks. I forgot about the light leak that you do encounter with some stairs and half blocks. So let me just finish this up and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Let's take out our last few lights. And there we go. So now it's pretty well completely dark. And let's just fill this in with some dirt. I need to come up with a good solution for a door. So we need to come up with a way to make kind of a, a nice door in there to keep out. Let's see. Actually, let's knock that out. And yeah, so we need to come up with a door. So, you know, wood doors aren't going to really work out with the zombies and all. But we need something else. We need something else. Oh, there we go. I like that. Looks nice. Maybe we could even double it up right there just to make kind of a just a little bit nicer of a door. Yeah, I like that. Put one right there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. It looks nice. There we go. There we go. That's nice. I like that. We do need to knock out those back sections where we, you know, knocked out that pole, but we'll get to those in a little bit. So let's let those zombies sizzle in there for a little bit. Get ready for them to you know, spawn and everything. So let's just make a little, there we go. And let's see, what do we need to do? So we need to make probably an extra sword. And let's see here. So let's just make, uh, let's make two swords. There we go. Perfect. And we already have a little bit of rotten flesh on us. We're not going to take the stuff out of our boxes. We're going to get what, what spawns in here. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it by the book. There we go. Oh, listen to him. Listen to him in there. Oh, listen to him there. Just about to get... Oh, oh, whoa. Look at all them spiders in there. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. That's that's too many. That's just that's just too many. Can't, we can't deal with that many. Yeah, can't get us, huh? Can't get us and can't get me. Oh, look at all you guys. You're all angry and sad in there. <laughs> I just don't want those creepers to blow up and destroy all of the drops. 
So we're gonna be careful about this. We're gonna be careful. We're just gonna spam our sword in there and hope for the best. And stick it through there, stick it through the hole and just hope for the best. Oh, oh. Oh, man, that was close. All right, let the health regenerate a little bit. Let's get our apples out. Let's have an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Not really. All right, so let's see here. Just get a few more in here. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. You know, eventually, I guess they're just going to come Oh, dang it. He just wiped out everything. He just wiped out everything. Right, where's the dirt? I'm going to put the dirt right there. Oh, there's a little bit of gunpowder. Let's take... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to put the dirt down. He got through too fast. You're going over the edge. No! Ah, oh, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Let's get back in there. Let's actually just get rid of that sword. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm actually going to cover that up for now. I'm going to check my quest log here. And we got the four. We got the gunpowder. We just need the bones. Just need the bones. I'm here for your bones. Oh, I'm here for your bones, bro. Hand them over. And I'll get out of here. Oh, sweet. We did it. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right. So we need a better door solution. So help me guys come up with a better uh, door solution. And before we go, this is really bugging me. So I'm going to change that. There we go. All right, so let's head over there and finish our quest. Let's head over there to the noble boss. We do need to cut these trees down. They're finally all nice and grown up. And let's kind of take a little look. Oh, I like that. That looks nice. Looks very nice. We just need to cut those extra little sections right there off. And yeah, we got a nice little uh, spawn tower. We'll probably have to dismantle it eventually. Probably add something on there. It's a little more snazzy. Maybe a little redstone here or there or some type of automatic thing but for now we got something that looks nice and we're once again back at the sky den and maybe we'll find out a way to get some of these other materials like these and we could really make it awesome fritz airpin how are you all doing pup my best buddy no boss i have completed your task oh well done clearly you have what it takes to be part of the sky den i welcome you with open arms the others and I are nearby opening trade with you whenever you like to come see what we have to offer. I have some jobs in mind for you. Come see me again when you're ready to advance. Congratulations on taking your first steps here. And there we go. He did. He gave us some experience points. Nice. Thank you, Mr. No Boss. And I got to say, I would love to have a bite, a bite of your butter, your butter candle. And well, guys, there we go. We completed our first quest. And we've got a nice little spawn building when we're in need of mob drops. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I would really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, there. All right. So let's just start building our bridge. And I believe it's about right there. Okay. So we set off on a grand journey to the sky den you know we could double it up and make it a little wider because we clearly have enough why don't we do that why don't we do that